Hello everyone, this is Stephanie of Creatively Miss Me, and today I'm participating in an open invitation collaboration. It's entitled the Fall Unboxing and Decoration Collaboration. Now if you want to know more about this collaboration, guys, you know what to do. Stick around. First, before we start this video, let me say, if you're new to my channel, then welcome. And please feel free to click that subscribe button you see down below and a bell will appear. Click that bell so you'll be notified each and every time I upload a video. And I want to say welcome to the creative family. <laughs> and for my oldies but my goodies, you know you have my heart. So guys, let's get into this video. Okay, once again, the name of this video is the Fall Unboxing and Decorate Collaboration. And it's hosted by three wonderful YouTube sisters. Cheryl at Cheryl's, Miss Cheryl's Place. And then Cheryl at I Style Designs. And Karen at Everyday Living with Karen Jeter. Now my creatives, all they asked us to do was something simple. To unbox your fall decor and show as you do unboxing and decorate some well me of course I had too much two bins full of decor and all I did was unbox at this time and it come out to be two different videos a part one and a part two one you're seeing today and one it'll be out tomorrow so I will hope I will see you along as I unpack all this fall decoration so now on with the video now, first, before I start, I received my Grove Collaborators box, guys, for this month. And I wanted to share this first before I opened up the bins. Now, what I'm liking is who's ever packing the boxes now, they're leaving a cute little message on your box. See right here on the top? And mine says, thank you, Stephanie, with a smiling face. So they're getting a little creative. My last box had a message on it too. So I thought that was kind of sweet. Now, your girl likes to keep her stock up at least three of each one, okay? Yeah, I know it's an issue. It's a Stephanie thing. <laughs> so I'm gonna try these Method laundry detergent packs. Right here, I got them in the center of mango. I want to try these and see how they work because I like having the packs and I like the liquid, but I, I guess I'm a little heavy handed when I wash, but I'm going to try these packs and I ordered two of these. I have two of them here and I really like the smell of their mango. So, um, if you're interested in them, I have a link down below for Grove Collaborative. And you can click on that link and it'll go straight to them and it'll show you what they have to offer. The next thing I purchased was, which I opened, is the garbage disposal. What's it called? The garbage disposal freshener and cleaners. Now, I know sometimes your garbage disposal, when you turn it on, it has that little mmm. So I like to use these and keep my garbage disposal smelling kind of fresh. I like the scent. It's a tangerine and lemongrass. So it smells really good when you put them in there. You let it sit for a while and then you turn it on. It smells wonderful. So look for these, okay? The garbage disposal uh, bins. And then, of course, an oldie but a goodie. I have the method squirt and mop in the scent of lemon, ginger, and citrus oh that's another language child but i always get this one for the floors i like to have the extra shine once i mop them then i come back over them with this to give it that shine that i like and as always your girl i ordered two well I ordered three actually and i realized i had two in the pantry in my storage already excuse me so i gave my daughter one I think that is all I ordered and then they sent me a fun in the sun catalog it's a little two-page thing a little flyer showing new products they have for the summer new ideas you could do with your kids 
of cleaning, you know, your patio, your windows and things like that for the summer. So I'm going to look into this and see more about what they're trying to offer. So guys, my haul this time was kind of small. I got the laundry pack, uh, pods and the garbage disposal uh, fresheners and some floor polish from Grow. So again, guys, if you're interested in seeing about Grow, I have a link down below in the description box where you can click on it and go right to their site and do some shopping. And when you go, be sure to tell them Stephanie sent you. Now, let's go on with the unpacking. Okay. As I stressed, <laughs> I have two bins. Okay, guys? Two. Two. But I'm kind of leaning hard towards the third bin. You know how you buy more and buy more and buy more. Oops, I need a third bin. Yeah, that's what I'm falling into that category. Because I bought all these flowers and things that I did in the haul the other day with... um that I put up, I put up a haul of me shopping. Yeah, I bought all these flowers and I bought some other odds and ends for fall. Not going through my bins first and seeing what I had. So, let me quit rambling and let me open these bins and share with you guys what I have purchased, okay? I'm looking around my surroundings, <sighs> but here we go. Let's see how I'm going to do this. Okay, guys. Now, I purchased this last year at Target Dollar Spot, and I used it on my bar cart last year. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this year. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it at all. I saw it. And if those of you who know me know I am a brass and I'm a copper girl. And this is a copper half pumpkin. I couldn't leave it. Okay. I have an issue. <laughs> My family will tell you I do seriously. Now, I have this pumpkin, but I have the medium and the large one are out in the garage on the shelf because they wouldn't fit in the container. Now, I've had these for years. I found these at Goodwill years ago, and I love these pumpkins. They're the wire pumpkins. I, put a, I always put a candle inside. And what I'm going to do this year, which I will be using them, I think I'm going to put a topper on here and make it a bow on top because I've been looking on Pinterest. You know, girls, how we look on Pinterest and get new ideas. Your sister been looking on Pinterest and I've been finding some new ideas to do with some things I have, you know, refurbish the old, make it new. Um, I'm, I am a refurbisher. OK, I keep all my ribbons and I reuse ribbons in different ways. Now, here's a bow I lose last year. I think it was on the front door, but I am going to recycle this because I am using this ribbon along with the ribbon I purchased for this year, which is this brown one right here. This one. These two together, they have the same colors. So I've been making bows with these. So this will be used again. Yes. Now, um, I have my gather sign that I got at, was this Target Dollar Spot. You see, tag is still on the back. Bought that last year. And then these two things sit around candles. Had these for a while. A couple of years, I think. Got them at, I think, uh, I think I got them at Goodwill, I think. This was in a bag with some other things I purchased. So, yeah, these are from Goodwill. Okay. Now, in this Dollar Tree bag, of course, you know, Dollar Tree bag means Dollar Tree items. Yes. It's full of these pixies of peppermint. I mean, peppermints. Why do I have peppermints on my mind? It's full of these pumpkins, the glitter pumpkins. And it has a little bit of this ribbon I've been looking for. Yeah. It has a little bit left. So that means I need to go buy some more. So I put that on the table with the rest of the ribbon. But I have quite a few of those pumpkins in here. Those pixies. And then here is a bag of some jewel pixies that I got. I think I purchased these at Pier 1 years ago. 
not Pier 1, but Hobby Lobby. And they are the jeweled pixies. I like these. They're glass looking ones. That's where all of them are in this bag here. And it's three, two small ones. No, three small ones. One, two, three, yeah, and one larger one in here. I try to keep stuff in bags when I can to keep from losing all of it. Here's a pixie I picked up, and I only found one, and I meant to go this year to see if I could find another one of these. I got this at, um, I think it was Hobby Lobby as well because the tag is missing. Now, these two guys here are actually a Hobby Lobby item, but I purchased these at Goodwill. And um, on the back, you can see here, they were Hobby Lobby, and I purchased them for $3 at Goodwill. So I have these two here. Now this... I actually thought this was like a filler or something when I saw it at Goodwill and I purchased it. But it turns out that they're little napkin rings. They're pumpkin napkin rings. I've had these for a couple of years. But when I use them, I use them. I have never used them as they are napkin rings. I use them as a filler or to put around something that I'm decorating. And you see the little $2 on there. They were $2 find at Goodwill. You know, you see something and you just grab it. And I'm really disappointed in myself. I broke my candle. My orange candle I had in here. I'm going to have to get another one because it's broken on the side here. See there? I'll just have to go back to Hobby Lobby and find another one. And here's a roll of that ribbon from the Dollar Tree. I put that in the other day when I was looking for something. Now this says salt and pepper shakers in this bag here. See? Now, for the fall, I have two sets of salt and pepper shakers. Okay? I have these pretty off-white uh, acorns and then I have excuse the noise guys everything is wrapped up in here in paper or plastic okay and then I have these beautiful leaf salt and pepper shakers these I think I purchased these all for eBay and the white acorns, they came from a, a thrift store my mom and I go to. They had them in there. They always sell different kind of, of salt and pepper shakers. And I look for the different salt and pepper shakers. And I, I always purchase them. And the next thing I have is, I think one of my kids made this. I can't remember. I've had it so long, I don't remember. But I pull it out and try to use it sometimes around candle holders or something. I try to use it every year. I try. I attempt to. I really do. I really do. I pull it out to use it. May not get used, but I do attempt to use it. Okay, the next thing I have is this lit this garland I purchased last year online from Walmart. And then I think it's some Dollar Tree garland in here as well. But this the uh, the Walmart garland has pumpkins and things on it, and it lights up. And then you know here's a Dollar Tree garland here. I bought a couple of packages of that last year. I think I bought about four last year. Yeah, here's another one. This is a piece of one that I used around the candle holder. You know, clipped, you can use it. Okay, then I bought these lights. Battery still in it. I got these lights at the Target dollar spot. I thought they were cute. 
They will probably, I'm not going to say they are, maybe, they might be used this year. Because my mind is trying to think of different ways to do things and not repeat the same setup every year. Try to make them a little different, you know, tweak them a little bit. You know how that goes, girls. Now, I have this bag of corn or popcorn, the seeds, the kernels, whatever. But I bought this and I use this as filler uh, for candle holders or whatever I'm going to have in my mind to use for. And I always use this corn for the fall. Okay, then I have a bag here full of leaves, just little separate leaves. And, and I see a little branch in here with an acorn with a, a pine cone on it right here. But I always keep these. You know, you never know when you need them. You might use a filler. You, you never know. Especially with me. You never know what I'm going to do with them. Oh, in here. No wonder I couldn't find them. In here, I have all my different little fall flowers that I bought last year. I have, oh man. I have some grass. I have some berry pixies. I mean, there's some everything in here. Oh, I forgot about these. Right here, they're called the cattails. How these in here? These are all. I got the yellow and the green cattails. What is that one? See, I have the green cattails. And then I have this one, and there's no name on it, but it's off in the bag. But these are the flowers and stuff I had that I used last year. And then here's another set of lights. All the batteries in this one. Let me open the other end. Let's see. I don't want to go through all that madness. Batteries in them. Here's the lights. I think these came from the Dollar Tree, I believe. May or may not use these this year. Who knows? I think last year I included these on the mantle with um, the the light, the lighting up pre-lit uh, garland that I purchased online from Walmart. For so that's where those that lit up garland came from. It came from Walmart online. Um, I got a little stream of burlap in here that I use around flowers or candles in here. Let me put this in this bag. Okay, in the bottom here is something I purchased online on eBay. And I keep it in here because it is a fall item. Now, I purchased these green leaf plates. Ain't they pretty? They are so pretty. I purchased these on eBay. It had to be, let's see, it's been here too. It had to be about four, maybe five years ago, I purchased these on eBay. I have a set of four, and I keep them wrapped like they came in the box in the bottom here so they don't get broken. And I don't have to murder anybody. Yeah, I did say murder. My family know I'm particular about my fall things. Oh, I did find these. I forgot I had these. These are some stir uh, beverage stirrers. B oh, Lord, I can't even get the word out. Beverage stirrers. They're pumpkins. I got these at the Target Dollar Spot last year as well. Now, I was trying to see if I had some straws, but... Haven't run across any straws yet. So let me load this back in. Because, guys, I haven't set up any of my fall decor. Simply because we're kind of up in the air about what's going to go on with us. Meaning my husband and I are in the process of trying to purchase a home and not sure if 
things are how things are going to go. So I'm kind of a little antsy because I want to, you know, I want to know what we're going to do. But, you know, you have to be patient. My husband keeps telling me that I need to be patient. So I'm trying to be patient and wait. But I haven't put up very much. I've done one challenge for uh, fall and that was the lanterns. I haven't done too many others. I know I have um, the, what is that? The fall kitchen vignette. And then I have the fall coffee station and the bar cart. Those areas I know I'm going to decorate, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do the mantle. And I'm not sure I'm going to do a fall tablescape as of yet, because I'm trying to see what our situation is going to be. If we're going to be here, if the situation changes and we're going to be here because the lease is up here on November 30th. So I don't know what our situation is going to be. If we're going to be here another year, then I will definitely go ahead guys and put my fall decor up and decorate outside and go ahead and finish my decorations inside. So I will keep you guys updated on that situation.